Hey guys, hi, hello, namaste, adabar, sasriyakal, assalamu alaikum, wana kam and khamma gani to all of you. Welcome to today's class guys and uh, as you all know, today we will be discussing the strategy like how you should utilize your month of February. Right, so talking about these are all the general tips and which will be applicable for all your subjects. So try to follow them and you'll be able to utilize your time in the maximum possible way. Right. So the first tip I would have is an hour of planning can save you 10 hours of doing. It's very important guys. Like see what I'm not saying ki plan one hour every day. My point is when you are waking up, when you're getting up from your bed every morning. All right. And by the time you sit for your studies or by the time you sit for your classes, by that time you should definitely make the plan for your whole day. All right, once you are freshened up, you have taken breakfast. By that time, while thinking, you should have definitely planned your whole day. And you should need, you should think about what will be your today's target. All right, make daily targets. This chapter needs to be covered. This is the work on priority. So every day you need to plan that what you are going to do with your rest 24 hours and then just follow it. Nothing else. Just follow that. That will save you a lot of time because your whole focus will be cover will be on covering the daily target rather than thinking are this i have to cover this i have to cover just forget all that plan everything about it in the morning and once you have done with it by the time you are doing your breakfast it should be done you should have planned what you are doing how many subjects which chapters you'll be doing today and focus only on completing it that will save you a lot of time all right so plan your day then early to bed early to rise obviously that's a very good uh say um, a suggestion for you all guys if possible try to uh, see what happens is my point is like many students like to study uh, at night right but the point is like since your classes happen in the morning also your exams are also going to be in the morning so it is very important to have your biological clock your body to adjust to that timing right so try to like if your schools are going obviously after the class of school you will be feeling tired and if you do go throughout night study so that time your mind is pretty much tired so if you wake up early and before school hours if you can give say two hours or uh, two hours for study with the fresh mind that would be really helpful so that's one advice but again it is uh, still flexible but one advice i would definitely like to give you all over here that make sure that before the examination at least two weeks be before the examination you change your timing to the timing of your exams your mind you should definitely be early to bed early to rise before two weeks before the examination so that your body adjusts to that timing and you you perform the best way in the exams right then divide a subject into three categories hard medium easy and accordingly make combinations if you are taking one difficult part of any subject then go for the easy part of another subject in that day so that way it will compensate and when you are feeling demotivated you can go for the easy part and this will again give you confidence right so that's a trick you can play with your mind and makes you feel uh, keep yourself motivated then always start your day with the most difficult subject always start with your difficult subject and end your day with a easy subject so in that way your mind by the end of the day would be tired and taking an easy subject would also will will utilize that time in the maximum possible way because if you are taking a difficult subject at the end of the day already you are feeling tired subject is difficult it is again going to make you feel more demotivated so always take the difficult subject at the starting all right and end your day with the easier one read interesting one when you feel sleepy as i was saying that take the easy subject or one which you like the most take those subjects uh, when you are feeling sleepy so that will also be you will be able to utilize that time as well all right and change your study topics every one two hours what does it mean is uh, don't make it monotonous that like, throughout the day you are studying only maths that is obviously you'll do before the examination but during this time when you have some time to prepare for your examination at least take two subjects or three subjects a day and two chapters of one subject two chapters of another subject this way make your target in this manner the the the, the profit which you are going to get would be that you'll not feel bored also when you learn two different topics suppose you got tired by studying one topic take half an hour break and then go ahead with the second subject so you'll feel more refreshed new thing you are studying your mind also will be focusing more right so that's the next thing guys obviously take at least two or three subjects every day 
दैट्स हाउ यू शुड प्लान योर डे एंड टेक रेगुलर ब्रेक एज वेल एंड एंजॉय द स्टडी इट्स नॉट मीन्स की एंजॉय द टाइम एंजॉय योर स्टडीज इफ यू आर नॉट एबल टू गेट दैट एंजॉयमेंट make fake enjoyment start faking it and eventually you'll start liking it and obviously guys when you start learning new topics when you think about new topics you feel more confident right so enjoy this point ha huh? enjoy your studies and uh, at least take two or three subjects daily make your plan of the day at the morning only set your clock to the exams timing and if you are studying you are a person who wants to study late do it now but before the examination two weeks before the examination go for early to bed early to rise so that your mind will train itself to work during those exam hours otherwise you'll feel sleepy during the exam hours and that can hamper your performance all right guys so these are the things which i would uh, which i have told you these are the general tips which will be working for all your subjects also you can go ahead to the link which is mentioned in the description box of this video as well as in the pinned comment and you can go for the vedantus pro subscription courses use the coupon code gpe pro which will going to give you flat 10 percentage off all right guys so this is all from my side in today's class thank you so much for joining the session i will see you all in the next class till then bye bye sayonara khuda hafiz to all bye bye guys Thank you.